Welcome YouTube, this is Sean from Broadsword Media. Yes, I'm wearing my Raiders beanie, couldn't find it last week, I'm wearing it this week. I still support the Raiders, I'm disappointed that they lost, but I did predict them to lose. And yes, I'm wearing a 49er jersey, Jerry Rice to be exact. My family was raised 49ers fans, so I'm not even exactly sure why I chose to be a Raiders fan. I think it's just that when I started actually watching football, John Gruden was the coach of the Raiders and I thought he was awesome. But then when I really started paying attention to football was actually 2005 and unfortunately both the teams were terrible at the time. Ironically, looking at the two the, the, the two most recent 2-14 and 14 seasons with the 49ers, 2004, their head coach Dennis Erickson was a great college coach, sucked in the NFL. Both their wins were against the Cardinals. One with Tim Rattay as the starting quarterback, the other with Ken Dorsey as the starting quarterback. This year when they went 2-14, and 14, Chip Kelly was their head coach. Great college coach, not so good in the NFL. Both their wins were against the Rams. One with Blaine Gabbard as the starting quarterback, the other with Colin Kaepernick as the starting quarterback. So, look at all those similarities between the two years. It's crazy, huh? Not to brag, but I guess this is bragging anyways. I have been amazing with my wildcard round predictions. Last year, 4-0 oh my wildcard predictions. I'm giving this to the Chiefs, easily. And I honestly believe the Pittsburgh Steelers will win at Cincinnati. Both Jack and I agree about who's going to win this one, and that's the Seahawks. I think the... Uh, Packers will win at Washington, D.C. This year, again, 4 0 my wild card prediction. It's eight straight correct predictions. If you count two years ago, I was 3 and 1. So that's 11 and 1 in my wild card predictions. The only time I got a prediction wrong was when I predicted the Steelers to beat the Ravens in a wild card round two years ago. The Ravens actually beat the Steelers, surprisingly. Anyways, let's get started with our divisional round predictions. Let's start with the AFC. The 14-2 New England Patriots against the now 10-7 Houston Texans. Is there even a reason to make a prediction for this one? We all know who's going to win. The Patriots. It's probably going to be like 35 to like 6 or something. Yeah, the Texans have a great defense. So are the Patriots. And their offense is incredible. So, no chance. The Patriots will, will easily beat them. Now we have the 12-4 Kansas City Chiefs against the now 12-5 Pittsburgh Steelers. Now this is a great matchup right here. The Steelers' immensely unstoppable offense against the Chiefs' immovable defense. This is an amazing matchup. And actually on offense, quarterback Alex Smith, he's got a pretty good track record in the playoffs, whether it was with the 49ers or with the Chiefs, actually. Ben Roethlisberger is questionable. I think if he plays, they should be able to beat the Chiefs in a close game. Probably like, I don't know, like, 24 to 20 or something. Now, if he's injured and Landry Jones comes in, he's a good backup, but he's going to be overwhelmed by that insanely fast and powerful Chiefs defense. And the Chiefs will win easily if Jones is in. Probably like 27 to 10 or something. It, it won't even be close. But I'm going to pick the Steelers because I think Ben Roethlisberger will play. Now we go to the NFC. We got the 13-3 Dallas Cowboys against the now 11-6 Green Bay Packers. This is a matchup to look forward to. Both these teams have really strong offenses, and they're both great on defense as well. The thing about the Cowboys, though, is that their quarterback is a rookie. Same with the running back. But especially because their quarterback is a rookie, it's it's hard to say whether they're... It, they might actually lose this, because it's very rare that a rookie quarterback has success in the playoffs. Look back at Ben Roethlisberger in 2004, rookie quarterback. His Steelers went 15-1. They went to the AFC Championship, and Tom Brady's 14-2 Patriots took them down pretty easily on their way to winning their third Super Bowl, this time against the uh, underdog Eagles, who actually put up a much better fight than the Steelers did. I think this will be a very close game, but the Packers are on a huge roll. They're now, if you count the wild card round, on a seven-game winning streak. The Cowboys, on the other hand, they started to cool off late in the season, and their quarterback's a rookie. Aaron Rodgers is a pro. He's a veteran. He's been at this for a long time, and he's amazing. So I'm giving this to the Packers, but it's going to be very close. Probably about like, I don't know, maybe like 27 to 24 or something like that. Very close game. Next we have 11-5 Atlanta Falcons against the now 11-5-1 Seattle Seahawks. The Falcons, I'm sure, are the favorite to win this. They're the home team. They have the better record. They have the better season. But I think it's going to be the Seahawks. 
their team is very well seasoned and experienced in the playoffs. The Falcons have been in the playoffs since 2012 under head coach Mike Smith. They're now under a different head coach, Dan Quinn. Now perhaps maybe under this change of head coach, maybe they won't underperform in the playoffs. Maybe they'll actually play more up to par like they're supposed to. The Falcons have one of the best offenses in the league. One of the best. The Seahawks have one of the best defenses in the league. And oftentimes in the playoffs, when a great offense clashes with a great defense, oftentimes it's the great defense that wins. It's in Atlanta, but I'm giving it to the Seahawks, the Legion of Boom. So thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned for my conference championship round predictions.